back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful and magical day, and I hope that you are getting excited about boarding the Hogwarts Express to start another year at Hogwarts. I know I'm so excited. So I figured I'd do a fun what's in my Hogwarts trunk kind of video. Now I want to go ahead and uh, kind of point out here that Flourish and Bloss, also um, priorly known as the Hufflepuff Queen, is doing a video like this too. I've been playing this video for a couple weeks and I saw on her Instagram stories that she was doing it too. So I want to make sure that I threw it out there that I knew she was doing it and I was like, I thought I was being original, but you know, it's really cool. I'm excited to see what's in her Hogwarts trunk too. So I'm going to stop talking and let's get packing. So let's get started. Hogwarts trunk right here and yes I did fill it with hollow because hollow is magical and it's kind of a rose gold um, you'll see the tops not attached this is a very old trunk that my um, aunt actually had given to me many years ago and it's you can see it's red so it's the perfect Gryffindor color um, I do have the lid right here it's just that through years of wear and tear it's kind of come off but let's go ahead and get started with um, so some of the things that I'll be packing in Hogwarts and be grabbing it from this magical chair. Why don't we start with the clothing. I have a wonderful Hogwarts t-shirt here just to uh, um, do a little bit of school pride. And I'll magic this later to be more neat and organized. So we have a Gryffindor Quidditch shirt here for Quidditch practice. I am on the Quidditch team. I'm a chaser. So we have more of a generic um, Hogwarts Quidditch shirt here. It looks like a uh, muggle um, baseball, I think is what they call it, a muggle baseball jersey. But I thought it's real, I thought it's like really comfy and it's perfect again for Quidditch practice or just for hanging around the, the common room. One can never have enough qu um, Quidditch shirts. Oops. So I have a um, Gryffindor Quidditch shirt here and it is a nice uh, shade of Gryffindor um, scarlet, um, kind of more of a uh, burgundy color, but I love it. And again, perfect for the uh, Quidditch pitch for practicing. Another one more practice shirt for the Quidditch pitch. I mean, this one you can't really see here, but on the back, it's basically the same logo on the back. It says Gryffindor Quidditch. Then on the uh, front little pocket here, it says Team Captain because I am the Team Captain. If you didn't know. Getting to more house pride over here, we have a couple of pairs of Gryffindor socks because as um, Headmaster Dumbledore once said, or previous Headmaster Dumbledore once said, one can never have enough socks. So these are great for hanging around the uh, common room and cozying up by the fire. Now we're gonna get kind of boring here. We have, you know, parts of the school uniform, a sweater. I'm getting all my uh, all my robes and white button-up shirts are currently at the Magical Dry Cleaner right now. And part of the um, Hogwarts um, uniform, I have my Gryffindor tie and another one, you know, just for a little variety. And for those cold winter months, I have not just one, but two different types of Gryffindor scarves to keep nice and warm, especially on those Hogsmeade trips. So last but not certainly least, my clothing items, I have my own personal invisibility cloak right here. It's perfect for sneaking around the corridor, corridors and driving um, Filch crazy. So definitely have to bring that for some good old Gryffindor mischief fun. And speaking of Gryffindor mischief fun, I have the Marauder's Map. Don't ask how I got it. I have my secrets. But now I can see uh, where everybody is in the castle for even more Gryffindor mischief. Now moving on to what every witch or wizard needs, some school supplies. So I have some books here. I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I'm not a first year anymore, but I do enjoy reading it because I do love Newt Scamander. Don't know why there's this uh, muggle name on here, J.K. Rowling. Um, but maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe the muggles have gotten their hands on this somehow and think it's some sort of magical fantasy world. It's not. 
And then I have a copy of Quidditch Through the Ages to get me hyped for Quidditch season. I'm so excited for it. And then finally, I have the Tales of Beale the Bard. More school supplies. I have some vials here for potions. And I have another um, little um, keepsake here for my potions. And since we're already in the potions section, I do have a vial of Felix Felicis. You know, just in case I need a little luck on the owls or the nudes, which I'm sure will be cheating, but shh. Or in the Quidditch finals, or just if I'm having a boring day and I just want to liven it up a little bit. So yes, I do have a vial of liquid luck. The last school supplies I have are my quill and my ink pot, so I can write down those notes. Yes, mobile pens are a little more um, convenient and easier, but you know, there's just something qu quite fulfilling about using a quill and pen, a, using a quill and ink. And for note taking, I have a lovely Gryffindor themed notebook here, so I can take down all the notes and. Um, so I can do well on my tests. And of course, I can't go anywhere without my Ollivander's wand. I think my wand is so nice. And I try to keep it in this case here so I'm not tempted to do magic outside of Hogwarts, you know, because I'm not allowed to do that. So it has a nice little home right here. And it's nice and ready to go to Hogwarts. So of course, of course, all I can't, I can't just study and do Quidditch and have mischief too at Hogwarts. I'm, there's, you've got to have some time for some me time, some time with your friends in the common room. So my favorite thing is wizard's chess. So I'm going to bring my wizard's chess board here and I'm going to make some room in the magical charm on this. Whew, that is heavy. <laughs> And while I'm in the common room or while I'm up in my uh, dormitory, I like to have a nice little stash of Honeydew's chocolate here because it makes me happy to have some sweet treats to nosh on while I'm studying and gives me that extra energy. And again, some more sweets from Honeydew's. And now, da -da, I have a butterbeer mug because you may not know this, but in recent years, Hogsmeade has their BYOM months, which is bring your own mug. So I have a nice one right here, and that way, um, if I'm on a field trip to Hogsmeade or we're celebrating a Gryffindor Quidditch victory over Slytherin in the dormitories, I am ready to let the butterbeer flow. I wish there was some butterbeer right now. And I do have a couple more wearables. They're not exactly clothes, but they are uh, some accessories. I do have this. This was given to me by Luna Lovegood, and I know it's silly, but it really does keep the Nargles away, so I need this, because there's some weird stuff at Hogwarts, I need to protect myself. So I'm pretty much done with the packing of my trunk here, and I will be able to fully be done once I get my newer cauldron, and I get all of my uh, stuff back for the Magical Dry Cleaner, and I'll be all set. But, I do have a bit of a bonus thing of the, some of the things that I have to go to the uh, train station because I can't just ha um, walk on there once and have everything in my trunk. I do like to pack it in this kind of, in this fun Quidditch uh, um, Golden Snitch shaped bag. And I don't, I don't bring too many things. First of all, since we're going to London, I do have my Gringotts vault keys so I can pick up some pick up some galleons and sickles and nuts so that way I have some st some uh, spending money at Hogsmeade. And just in case I'm running a little behind that morning and need to run a few extra errands, I do have my time turner. My dad works in the ministry so I kind of have some clearance with this. I am very careful with this and I don't use it except for emergencies. Maybe I like to put a couple of snacks in there, but mostly I have the galleon so I can buy something from the trolley. But lastly, I like to pack my Spectrospects so I can read my latest edition of the Quibbler. People think it's silly, but the Quibbler gets it right sometimes, guys. 
They get it right. And then I put my ticket in here so I don't lose it. That is it, everyone. I have my um, two Hogwarts Express bag and I have my lid. So that is it. Um, I think I have everything I need. I have my trunk full of my school supplies, my clothes, fun stuff, my wand. I have my to-go bag with everything I might need for the journey. Hmm. You know what? There's one more thing. Hi, baby. You didn't think I'd forget you, did I? Yeah. You didn't think I'd take. You don't think I wouldn't take you to Hogwarts, right? <laughs> so let's get going to uh, Platform Nine and Three Quarters, eh, Miko? Mom, you're a 25-year-old muggle, and you're too old for Hogwarts. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching my brand new video. And I hope that you enjoyed my What's in My Hogwarts Trunk video. And I hope that you all make it safely to Hogwarts today on the Hogwarts Express. And I hope you all have a magical year at Hogwarts. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below and add a little more Lumos to your day. And leave me a comment down below and tell me what are the top five things on your list to take to Hogwarts. Thank you so much for being here with me and hanging out with me. Hope you have a magical week and let's continue to live Lumos every day. Bye.